you know, I could play you multiple clips of deliverance ministers telling you that uh, you need to do certain things in order to be free. That you can deliver yourself, that you need uh, deliverance maintenance done, that every time you have a problem, that you need some sort of demon cast out of you as a born-again believer. I mean, you have ministers that will even encourage people to sow a seed in response to their deliverance, so that way they can keep their deliverance and also show some sort of sacrifice <laughs> to honor the man or woman of God and to uh, ultimately honor the deliverance given to them. But can I tell you something? The greatest thing that they're missing is the gospel, which is deliverance. Salvation is deliverance. Colossians 1, 13, 14 reminds us as believers in Christ that we've been delivered from the domain of darkness and we've been transferred to the kingdom of his beloved son in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. And if that gospel is not enough to help you understand and for me to understand that what Christ did brings true freedom, then my friend, we're hearing another gospel come away from this teaching.